One all on the Winfield decider in the state of origin. Queensland kick off. They'll be running from left to right. And uh, six worth in possession for the uh, New South Wales team. Runs into a pretty hefty tackle. The referee, Mr Don Wilson of Queensland, appeared to me, Barry Ross, to be laying down the law to the, both the captains before the game. Yes, he did. He had something to speak to uh, both teams in the dressing room before the game. He's a referee that Australian fans do know. He refereed the first test here last year against France in Brisbane. Queensland inside the five. Now, what about the weather conditions down there? Well, there was a win from the south. New South Wales have won the toss, and they've taken advantage of that win. But, of course, here, Rex, at the Sydney Cricket Ground with the uh, wind tunnel. Of... Which comes up with the ball. Oh, there again, a bad pass, but offside. A good decision by the referee. And uh, that's the second occasion New South Wales have lost the ball on the first tackle. Just a little bit of panic, a little bit of urgency to get rid of that ball. Just settle the play down a little bit. Like Murray, it's a little step, he's got himself into the clear, there should be a try, it will be. Rowan Hancock underneath the post, or beside them. And a great run from Murray, got himself into a situation. With and there's a little bit of an altercation between Boyd and Dowling, I think it is. Uh, the play goes on, touch judges in. Boyd and Dowling both may get sin out of this. It's uh, on for young and old there with these two. They just plain dislike each other by the look of it. But touch are just standing around and they're both off. Is it five minutes or ten minutes, Barry? Can you see that signal? I think it's five, but I'll check. Will you ask them as they come through? Sure. Okay. And offside Queensland, inside the five. No doubt about this referee's signals, you know exactly what he means. I'd like to see that in some of our referees. I've just been in four. Let's see that little bit of action again. We've got a touch judge in on it. There's Rebo. Izzard's there. Duke's there. A little bit of a, a right hand from Duke. And another one. Touch judge uh, having had his say, the referee now pointing the finger. I can remember a school teacher doing that to me about 35 years ago. Penalty to Queensland. Chance for Meninga. Good footballers, this is New South Wales side, can squander possession so often on the first or second tackle. And another incorrect Fred. One question is this. Uh, situation now he's been uh, penalized on no more than two occasions for an incorrect feed i think it's about four times and when does persistent infringement come in well i think that's what referee wilson's talking to uh, new south wales max krillich about now he's talking about this feed situation so maybe if it occurs again we'll see it just uh, take a pause because Let me know when he's there. And away they go after a pretty long second half. And the score again, let me remind you, is Queensland 5, uh, New South Wales 3. Let's have a look at the touch judge's report. Boyd now being spoken to. He said uh, something like, uh, well, I can't say that. The referee likes to point the finger. A little bit schoolmasterish, but the penalty's gone to Queensland. I don't know what that was for. It was on a touch judge's report, and it's obviously a transgression that Liz Boyd had committed at some stage. Brad Izzard, long floating pass out to Duke. Duke to Rebo, and Rebo comes high and takes him around the head. <laughs> the crowd enjoyed that penalty. It wasn't a sw uh, swinging tackle, I might add. It was a tackle like a headlock around the head, but uh, the crowd loved it. Well, Duke's the one with the last laugh. He scored a try. Uh, Phil Duke and uh, Barry, how is he?
Well, Mick, it's uh, 22nd of June tonight. It was on the 22nd of May that you broke both those collarbones, and you're telling me you're training already. Yeah, that's right, Barry. It's four weeks since I've done it, and uh, the bones are knitted now, so I'm back in training, and I'm looking forward to coming back in another four weeks. You think you'll be playing in four weeks? Well, I hope to be. That's uh, as far as what uh, the program is with the doctor is concerned. It, uh, he uh, thinks that I should be back uh, playing against East in four weeks' time. And the player that done it, he's out there tonight. Is... Murray. Lewis kicks for position. It's gone straight downfield. I don't know that he intended to go there. Sigsworth feels it in the end goal. Oh, and he's taken beautifully and uh, stopped in his tracks by McCabe. Loses the ball. It's a try. Lewis. McCabe was the tackler on Sigsworth. Here's Siggy in his own end goal. Back to the MA Noble stand. Tackled. Tries to force himself away. Throws a one-handed pass to Duke. Duke drops the ball. And there's the try. And that is uh, an awful blunder. And there's the ball being stolen, and the referee says that he'd called tackle and the uh, penalty, and he's walked him 10 yards for dissent. And he's talking to Dowling as the main dissenter. I think this fellow must keep... Uh, he must be on point duty somewhere in uh, Auckland. He comes from Wellington. It's that uh, big line across his chest that may be doing it, Rex. <laughs> Actually, that's the sponsorship of the New Zealand Rugby League Referees Association. It's a, a brewery in uh, New Zealand, Lion Brewery. I am familiar with Lion. Murray, little halfback, who's had a pretty useful game. I'm just trying to cogitate about who's done well enough to win an award. And that's the six. Let's see this again. Just say it again. Five minutes in the sim bin for Lewis, but say it again. I think he may have been trodden on very slightly there by Aleph, and I don't think uh, throwing a football at a footballer is uh, worthy of a five minute in the sim bin. I think he got... Uh, I shall say accidentally trodden on by Aleph as he got to his feet. That to me is an infantile sending off. It's unsuccessful. <laughs> I think he might have been a strap from Laban once or twice this fellow. Fox restarted about a minute and 15 seconds on official time. Penalty to New South Wales, incorrect feed to Murray. Want to get on with the job quickly. Price does. He takes the tap. They're not uh, onside. They were offside. That's uh, ridiculous. And the referee has lost control of that situation. They were never back the required distance. Merlin. There's Boyd at dummy half. Mortimer. Bad pass. Puts up a bomb. Izzard comes through. They all leap. Who's got it? Izzard's got it. It's been knocked on. Referee quite adamant about that. They better continue with the scrum and not look at the replay on that. That's a second no feed. It's got to be a penalty. Price runs round, knocks it out of Murray's hands. Takes the tap. Mortimer. Wade McKinnon. Got to keep the ball alive. There's the hooter. Referee's not heard it. Way to Price. The kick goes up in the air. Bostead stands his ground, takes it well. It's a win to Queensland. And a deserving win.